that this is the veteran specter. Yes. I have a dire warning to those that are going to take the money. There is a contract mm. at the beginning when, when the inspector gets there before he starts inspecting. There is a contract that the claimant has to sign. Practically illegible. The, the writing is so small that 12 years ago I had to use a magnifying glass and that's when my eyes were good. In that contract, if you do not pay the money back, it is a, what? a loan. And even if it's just a dollar or $750, if you don't pay back, they have the right to see all of your property. That's insane. The $750 that they're saying that they're going to give people, that's a loan? It's in the contract to receive it? Yes, there is a contract that you sign before the inspector starts his inspection. You have to sign off on it, but there is a contract inside, and they even have, even for people that could not speak English, there was a translator um, that I would speak into it, and it would speak to them in Spanish or translate it in writing, and they have to sign this contract for the inspector to even start the inspection. Hmm. If you wow. take that money and don't pay it back, they can take your property at any point after a year. That's crazy. Well, thanks for the heads up. Uh, so folks, uh, heed his his message here. If there's anything that you got to sign or contract before you receive any assistance, make sure that you are well aware of what you're signing. A lot of people have different stories with FEMA and stuff like that. Like what he's saying here is actually very, very different from what I'm actually hearing from people. Everybody have different things that they actually say. That is his story. I'm actually seeing some people on X. There is a lady on Twitter. Yeah, she's saying that um, there's a part on their website, which I'm going to share with you guys. If you guys actually zoom on it, you guys will be able to read it well and see, say something about payment stuff like that. Why some other people say um, they did not actually qualify for the 750, they were, they are only actually qualified for you know a hotel and some $300, but they said they wouldn't they wouldn't take the $300, but they took the hotel, you know. Why some people also say that they actually had some money. Why some people also say they have insurance and FEMA wouldn't pay much for insurance. It's just different stories out there, guys. What's yours?